before we get into the video, I just want to remind you we're on the road to 133,000 subscribers here at Nintendo Prime to match 133 years of Nintendo. Also, you know, I'm just trying to make it in this world of YouTube. I turn 37 in less than a month, and I like to inspire my children and maybe others to continue to chase their dreams no matter how old they get. I've been told by many throughout my life that it was crazy to try to pursue a career here on YouTube, but we're, 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 we're I think we're going to make it, folks. And you can help me make it and become a full-time YouTuber by just subscribing to the channel, dropping a like on the video, and maybe leaving a comment down below letting me know what are your top three favorite games of all time. Any platform doesn't just need to be Nintendo. What are your top three favorite games? of all time. All right, guys, we've been going through all these summer showcases over the last week and a half, and there's a lot of amazing news. Microsoft just did an extended showcase yesterday and even revealed some new games in that extended showcase, which is really, really neat. And you know, Microsoft needs it, right? They, unlike Nintendo and Sony, who have been consistently successful over the last five or six years, Microsoft's had a pretty rough go of it and they absolutely needed some W's. And well, the last week or so has given them some W's. So congrats to Microsoft on that success. But today we need to talk about Nintendo because, well, Nintendo's really the one company we don't really know what's happening. We have everybody's one, two switch at the end of this month, which we still haven't seen gameplay for, which is just utterly insane. The game's out in like two weeks and we still don't even know what the game looks like. I mean, we have assumptions on what it looks like, but we don't really know. Like why the hell are we holding phones over our head? Beats me. But then you also have the idea that we don't know anything after Pikmin 4, which, oh yeah, we'll get more information on Pikmin 4. We had a teaser trailer a week or two ago, but we're going to get more information on that game. But the question is what's coming after? And well, the only legitimate rumor we've had out there was Jeff Grubb, who gave us murmurs. He said he's basically heard some talk about there being some sort of Nintendo event in July. Now, here's what can be true. There could be a Nintendo event in July, but still a Nintendo Direct in in June. Now, why are we bringing up this month, even though there's only a couple weeks left? Well, we have a couple new rumors out there, one of them coming from somebody who has been very, very credible when talking about directs, and that is Nate the Hate, Nate Drake. He goes by a couple of different names out there, and he actually put out there on Twitter yesterday when somebody tagged him and said, do you know by any chance if there will be a Nintendo Direct soon or any information, please. And all he had to say was, I wouldn't discount June from a possible direct. Also over on Family Boards in a direct poll, I want a direct might come, I recently voted June. Now you could be reading too much into this, of course. He has noted that he wants to reveal direct dates and what type of direct it's gonna be and all that on his own time and said pretty much pay attention to his podcast. His podcast episodes are where he will talk about this stuff. And look, last year Nintendo did some direct stuff at the end of June, we had the Xenoblade Chronicles Chronicles 3 Direct, and we also had a partner showcase. Now, he obviously mentions Direct, and he says possible. He's not guaranteeing that there will be one in June, but when we're halfway through the month, chances are that he wouldn't bring that up if he hasn't heard anything at all. Now, beyond this, we actually have another rumor, and this sort of is a multifaceted one. There is a Brazilian content creator out there who's been right in the past who is, seems to be hinting that we're going to get some sort of Direct in June, and also a person over on the game leaks in reddit's sub forum that is over there being like hey nintendo direct is actually happening next week and he's not sure which variant it will be a general mini or a partner but there is a nintendo direct scheduled for next week the week of june 18th i'm leaning towards a general but i don't have complete info on that yet and that is someone just straight up saying that this is going to happen now this user uh xantorn doesn't have much of a history with this stuff so you know, you can just take it with a massive grain of salt that's getting upvoted because people want it to happen. But then you put in the context that Nate the Hate is saying, hey, you know what? There possibly could be one this month and I wouldn't discount it and I wouldn't forget about June and just assume it's July because that's what Jeff Grubb said. So, hey, that's pretty interesting when thinking about that Nintendo Direct hype. And I have a lot of thoughts on this. Like, what, what could be in this Direct? What does Nintendo need to deliver in this Direct? Will there be a Direct at all in June? And my thought process is if there is a 
direct in June. It has to be a general direct, right? I can't imagine not knowing anything after Pikmin and then they just do, here's a partner showcase. Well, that, that doesn't, a partner showcase doesn't fix that we don't know anything from Nintendo, right? It, it doesn't solve the inherent problem. We actually know about quite a few third party games if you think about it between Sonic Superstars and Mortal Kombat 1 and the Prince of Persia game. We also have uh, that Harry Potter game as well. So we actually know about quite a few third party games coming to Switch, even though people keep telling us that the Switch doesn't get third party support. It actually has a number of games coming. It might not get the biggest of the big games. Well, I don't know. Hogwarts Legacy is pretty big, but it does get some. And so we do already know about some. I don't know that it feels like now is the time for a partner showcase. Of course, it could do an indie world. But again, that's the last thing we got was an indie world. It does feel like it's time for a general direct. But here's something that we can talk about and could technically be part of the direct. I don't know that they're going to talk about this at length, but according to joblo.com or joblo or I look, however you pronounce the website, it says, according to Daniel Rickman's Patreon post about Nintendo, Nintendo and Illumination are working on a Super Mario Bros. movie too, a Luigi's Mansion movie, a Donkey Kong movie, and a Legend of Zelda movie. This suggests that Illumination has multiple studios working on multiple movies for Nintendo, which would make a lot of sense after the success of the Mario movie that Nintendo is going to go all in. They're going to go massively investing in movies. Illumination is going to go massively investing in movies. After all, the Super Mario Bros. movie has now entered the top 20 top grossing films of all time. Forget about just animation. Of all movies in existence, it is now in the top 20. So it is conceivable here that they want to work on multiple projects. And while we might not get a new Mario movie or a new Nintendo movie next year, it could be conceivable that from 2025 and onwards, we might get one Nintendo movie per year, depending on how they are divvying up, you know, how the different Illumination Studios are actually going to be working on these movies. And with a Mario Bros. movie 2, you know, we, we pretty much assumed that was going to happen, plus Chris Pratt threw out there that we should hear about that soon. The big holdup now would be that there is a writer's strike, you know, well, presuming that that's done at some point, unless Nintendo's own writers are going to, you know, write it, which they're game writers. So they're not really part of the writer's strike, but who knows what's happening there? Maybe they are part of the writer's strike. Beats me. Nintendo doesn't emphasize story a lot. So I don't know how like that works for them. Are the writers for their video games also on strike? No other video game seems to be held up by it. So I'm assuming not. But the point is that this is happening and we could see potentially one of these announced at a direct now a donkey kong movie was the one that we've actually heard about the longest for well before the mario movie even came out so that could be the one that's maybe furthest along if they started it before the mario movie came out so it could potentially get unveiled here of course chances are they probably won't talk about any more movies from nintendo and illumination until sometime next year and then we might to see those individual movie direct teases and stuff like that that being said at this direct look we got to see games 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 and more games and i can go into a billion predictions on what those games could be it's going to be another mario party it's going to be a mario 2d something we're going to get mario kart you know mario galore there's got to be something mario right maybe a kirby game is thrown in there maybe we get surprise like gamecube remasters and, and look it, it could be a lot of different things but i do think that we're probably seeing a general nintendo direct sometime in the next four weeks that means from now until about the middle of july and that's just me guessing at this point the people who know who have actually heard things will be people like jeff grubb who said he heard murmurs of a july something he doesn't know what it is from nintendo and that uh, we would have a june something now potentially according to nate the hate and this random person over on reddit now in june i would think it'd be a general direct and you might go well then what the hell was jeff grubb hearing about next month i think he's hearing murmurs about a pikmin 4 direct because i do think pikmin 4 is going to get its own dedicated direct next month as Nintendo does attempt to push it to be the most successful Pikmin game of all time. And if you kind of remember their one month ramp up for Zelda, think about them doing something similar for Pikmin, maybe on a smaller scale where we're not getting multiple events, but I could see us getting at least one Pikmin 4 Direct next month. And I think that would make a lot of sense. You drop the general Direct now, you do the Pikmin 4 Direct you know, next month, and then you get all the games you talked about now, you talk about more again and again as we get into August and September, because then we have Gamescom and all the rest where Nintendo is likely to to show more stuff plus we know that nintendo did announce factually a new event today 
Day. And that new event does involve Pikmin. It looks like it involves Pikmin 4 based on the fact that they're refusing to label it. So you'd be like, oh, is that Pikmin 3 Deluxe? No, no, no. They announced this summer of play event where they're going to be touring all around the United States and they're going to have a whole bunch of demos. And so they're mentioning things like, you know, talking about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and maybe seeing some of the booster course DLC. So we know that's coming. So you might be able to play that at this event. Also, they will be able to play some Animal Crossing New Horizons, some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet stuff, some Zelda stuff. But notably, it does mention that pose with curious plant-like creatures in an oversized garden scene from the upcoming Pikmin 4 game. And in that garden scene, there appears to be a couple of switches that you might be able to play a demo of the game for. So pointing out that they are obviously marketing Pikmin 4 and they're going to be marketing it all throughout the summer. You might go, well, Nate, if they're going to announce new games, why aren't they part of this summer of play? Because these games probably aren't coming out this summer, right? They're probably for the fall time. And again, from Gamescom on forward, they'll start marketing that stuff, which is in August. Whereas this tour actually begins this month and goes throughout July and goes to the end of August. So from the end of August on forward, that's when they'll market other stuff. Until then, hey, play some Zelda, play some Pokemon, play some Pikmin, some Animal Crossing. Enjoy the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course stuff that's coming at some point in there. So Nintendo's clearly lining up their marketing and it really lines up perfect if we get a June Direct. Why they're going later in June? The only thing I can think of is Nintendo just wanting to be separate. Now, again, we don't know 100% we're getting a general direct this month, but some hints from Nate to hate, some stuff over on the gaming leaks and Reddit, uh, subreddit, whatever, the gaming, gaming and leaks subreddit. Just, it, it's sort of adding up that we should expect something by the end of June. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in that next video.